Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get SendGrid API key in 2023. The SendGrid API key is crucial for integrating SendGrid with your application and services. So, in this guide, I will walk you through the essential step or step-by-step -step guide to obtain your API key from SendGrid. It's very easy to do and you basically have to do nothing. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and sign in for a SendGrid account. Go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and basically here you will have to type send grid and hit the enter button. Once you do so, make sure to go and click on this first link of send grid email delivery API and marketing services or service. Once you click on that, of course, here you'll be able to see the pricing and plans if you are interested. So if you are interested, normally here you can see the features, pause the video and check it all by your own. This is for developers and this is for marketers as an example. And of course, if you have an account, go to the top right corner and click on sign in to log in into your account. And if you don't have an account, click on start up for free so you can create an account. As you can see, they have a free plan right here. So if you click on start for free, as you can see, you will have to go and create an account for yourself for me this is not supported in my country so i'll use a vpn for you make sure to not use a vpn because they will ban you so if you are if it's supported in your country that's cool if it's not you'll have to wait or contact the support to add your country and you will have to wait and then until they add it so here i'll simply have to enter my email address example and the password for me as you can see i've already have something here so i'll just go back and click on sign in and as I said, if you are using a VPN, they will ban you. As you can see here, you are not authorized to access SendGrid, so please contact support. And if you contact support, of course, they will simply tell you that you used VPN. And of course, if you have one of those questions, as you can see, I'll just show you here. You can pause the video and check all the answers by your own. And of course, so basically how to get the API key. You cannot show us how to get, uh, to get your API key without like accessing your account, no. Uh, I can of course do that simply go and open a new tab and simply type send grid again and here no no need to add this.com so let's just type send grid and hit the enter button so once you are here make sure to go and click on the second link which is getting started with the send grid API Twilio click on that once you do so as you can see here they will have a documentation for you or a uh, a tutorial for you on how to get or create your API key very easily. So basically, you'll we'll have to follow that. And just keep in mind that these instructions describe how to send your first email using CURL calls. And this is one of many ways to send email with the SendGrid API. We also have PHP, Python, Node.js, Java, C, uh, Dash and Go, and Ruby. So, of course, basically, you before you start, as you can see, you can start using API, you'll need to do the following. Go and create your account, as an example, so you can go and do that. I've already made a video on how to do that. And, of course, then you'll have to go and create your API key. What you basically have to do is simply go and click on this API key. Once you click on it and you've already signed in, they will just take you right away into that page of the API key where you will have to get it. You don't have to do anything anything else simply click on this api key or control that to open it on a new tab and control and of course let's click and this will open it to a new tab and this will take you right away to that page where you can get your api key without any problems especially if you are logged in as you can see for me they are asking me to log in and i will not be able to do that because i've used the vpn and they banned me from accessing this send grid so now basically once you click on it you will get your api key and of course from there you'll be able to create a new api key and you can choose even the api key permissions you can even name your api key and even generate and copy your api key and of course uh, it's crucial to store like your api key securely so avoid sharing its, uh, its publicity or hard coding it into like your applications instead consider like using environments variable or secure storage solution and of course before like integrating it uh, into your application 
authentication, you can test like your API key using tools like Postman or CURL to ensure it works as expected. And if you've done this, GG. Congratulations, you've already successfully obtained your SendGrid API key in 2023. And this key will allow you to integrate SendGrid with your application services for seamless email communication. So remember to keep your API key secured and follow best practices for API key management. So that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching. Of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.